Hey guys, it's Mio and today I have a DIY tutorial for you. It is a polymer clay pineapple. It's super easy to do and since summer is just around the corner, I've been completely obsessed with pineapples. I think it is the fruit of the summer. So what better way to celebrate this fruit than to create this adorable charm bracelet that has pineapples with different types of faces. For more videos like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get this tutorial started, shall we? For this project, you're going to need some polymer clay. I got mine from Handcrafter. I'll provide a link below if you're interested. You're going to start off with a light, slightly translucent piece of yellowed color clay. And you're going to shape it into a little small oval, as you can see here. Using the back of the blade, I'm going to form the markings that you see on a natural pineapple. All it is is really just a crisscross mark. So I'm taking the back of the blade because it's a little bit wider and I'm forming parallel lines across diagonally on the pineapple piece. I want each of these lines to be evenly spaced apart as much as possible and then go ahead and form a 90 degree angle with lines going down the opposite end. I know pineapple designs are more complex than this, but I think this is the easier way to create this. And now you're going to form a lot of green leaves. This is a lime green, slightly translucent piece of green clay, and I just made several long teardrop shapes, as you can see here. And to stick them on top, I'm actually going to cut off a small wedge on the top of the pineapple, just a little triangle. And after you remove this piece, this will give you room for you to put all the leaves on top. I just go ahead and space them all apart and stagger them in layers. The more layers you put on top, the more intricate the top of your pineapple will look. I would say having two, three layers of leaves actually looks very natural. Once you're happy with the volume of leaves you have, just take the tips of the leaves and curl them downward like a real pineapple. I placed an eyelet at the very top because of course I'm making a charm bracelet, but if you're going to use your pineapple for other things, you can skip this part if you don't need it. I put in a very standard face on my pineapples, just two black eyes, a very small mouth, and I took some red pastel chalk colored and just dust it right underneath the eyes to give my pineapple a little bit of blush. Once you're happy with your pineapple, you can bake it in your oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. As you can see, this is an incredibly easy tutorial. It's nothing really fancy. I created a few pineapples here as you can see and I gave them different faces. Some of them are squealing, winking, smiling, whatever it is. You can be really creative here. For the bracelet, I took a gold chain and I took this special string as you can see here that I bought at my local craft store and I'm just weaving the string in and out on my gold chain. I actually don't know the name of the type of rope I'm using here. I just know that I really like it because it has a piece of plastic inside so that when I'm done at the very end, I can melt it. But if you don't have this, a piece of regular ribbon will work just fine. So here, as you can see, I'm taking a lighter and I'm just gently melting the end piece a little bit. And once I can see that the plastic's melting, I can go ahead and just stick the very end on top of itself and it won't unravel in the chain. I took the liberty of going ahead and spacing out all my charms along my bracelet as you can see here and I decided that this looked a little too plain for me so I created these cute little pink tassels using some pink sewing string and placing them in between each of the pineapples so that it would give my bracelet a little more fuller and colorful look to it. And that's pretty much how I made this pineapple bracelet. It's really not that fancy, incredibly easy and perfect for the summer. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. For more videos like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're feeling the pineapple vibe for the season, give me a shout out below. I love to read your comments. I'll also leave in the down bar the link to Handcrafters website so you can purchase polymer clay if you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys soon. Good luck crafting. Bye!